Uh, the disputed leadership contest of the National Freedom Party continues to threaten the party's unity. The group, uh, led by the party's national chairperson, Siselo Mabika, has announced that the NFP will hold its national elective conference in December. The conference has been postponed twice over the past 12 months. Well, joining us on the line is the NFP uh, national chair, Siselo Mabika, for further details. Uh, thank you for being with us, uh, Mr. Mabika. The NFP has twice postponed this conference, which initially uh, it was meant to take place in December last year. Uh, what's what's different this time around? Um, thank you very much. Good evening to you and the viewers at home. The difference uh, this time around is that uh, as the leadership of the National Freedom Party, we have met and decided that uh, there is no way we can further um, uh, postpone the conference because as you know that since we failed to enter or to, put, to conduct the elections in 2016, um, the going um, has been so tough for, for, for the NFP. But the truth is, all what the members of the NFP want to see now is to go to the elections and elect the new leadership um, with a new mandate. And we believe, all of us, that uh, with the new leadership, people are going to begin to work together towards one mission and and we want then to make sure that we 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 we, we, we call the elections for, for for our members because if we can be failing to organize the elections for for the new leadership now we will be failing in our duties and as as the leadership of the nfp all right, we have somebody on the line, Ahmed Manzur Sheikh Imam uh, from Parliament. And, and, and basically, some within your party believe that you have no powers to call the conference. What would you say to them? Um, I don't know where those who are saying that are, are, are arriving from, because as far as I know, we are the elected leadership. We are the, illegitim we are the legitimate leadership. There's been no other... A conference to elect new leadership since we were elected with the president. That is why, that is what I said yesterday to say by continuing with the work of the NFP, in fact, we are protecting our president, we are protecting our leader because those who are saying the NFP NEC has been disbanded are, in other ways, saying the NFP does not have the president. So we cannot afford to say our president. Is, is just an ordinary person. So that is why we are saying the meeting that was held on the 22nd of, of, of April, where they say the president decided to disband the NEC, we are saying in our constitution, there is no provision for such. The NFP constitution gives the president of the NFP powers to take decisions, all decisions, in consultation with the NEC. So there is no such that has taken place. So that is why we are sure that we are the legitimate NEC, the leadership that has the right and the authority to organize the, 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 the conference. Other than that, there is no other structure that can organize the, the, the conference for the NFP. All right. Uh, would you mind holding, I believe, that Ahmed Manzur, Sheikh Imam, uh, from the National Executive Committee, uh, one of the members there, is on the line. Uh, Mr. Uh, Sheikh Imam, uh, would you like to respond to what's been said? Yes. yes. Very good afternoon to you and all the listeners out there. First of all, let me start off by saying my colleague that is now representing so he says he's representing the, the National Freedom Party as the national chairperson, is being disingenuous. He is not currently the acting chairperson or the chairperson of the National Freedom Party. The president on the 22nd of April took a decision, and it was not a decision that was taken per se on the 22nd. It came long before that. When she found that under the very same colleague, uh, uh, Honorable Mabiga, together with Shilende, who were the chairs and deputy chairs, respectively of both the NEC and the electoral, uh, election committee, both failed the party in bringing the, and brought the party into disrepute. 
which resulted in over 225 uh, councillors, mayors, deputy mayors, speakers, all losing their jobs and all their families having to suffer for that. What she did is that she beefed up the NEC and then put in an ad hoc committee where, or, or put in more members to the NEC. Many resolutions were thereafter taken in together with the deputy president and other members of the NEC. But in that time, Mabiga, together with other members, were suspended from the party for bringing the party into dispute. He remained suspended. He then broke his conditions of his suspension. He was then brought before a disciplinary hearing. He did not appeal his first one after he was found guilty. So he cannot, and no one has a singular authority to go and overturn a suspension because a suspension in this case was ratified by the National Working Committee of the party. Now, not the deputy president, and no one has the right to go and overturn that. That's the first thing. The second thing is this. The president, yes, must take decisions in consultation with the NTC, but it also gives her the inalienable right. Now, you can't go and consult with a structure that's a problem. The NEC, the first one, failed. She beefed it up. They were in the media for the wrong reasons every other week. She then found that it was not doing justice to the interests of the people. And so she decided, let's disband it and give the power to the national... Mr. Watch Imam, which is the highest authority. all right, I, I have to stop you and, and give Mr. Mabika a, a chance to respond. My impression is that your party is consumed by this internal uh, battle. Uh, Mr. Mabika, so maybe you can also tell us, what does this mean? For, for the NFP, if, you, if you're so consumed by something going on internally, what does it mean uh, for your previous alliance uh, with the ANC, for example? I, I don't know what uh, Honorable Sheikh Imam is talking about, because in our constitution, there is nothing that speaks to replacing the NEC with anything, not even the ad hoc that he's talking about. So I don't want to waste my time about that. And uh, 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 I think it's also important to note that this matter is still contested in court. It was postponed uh, on the 5th of September uh, for the 30th of January. But before, before the matter is resolved, there is an interdict which says, which set aside, which set aside all those decisions that were taken in that particular meeting that he is referring to. But be that as it may, we as the NEC, we are continuing with our work. We have started preparing for the conference. We have issued circulars uh, to all the provinces as to how we are, we are planning uh, uh, the, the, the conference to be held in December because we believe one of the things that is going to help the party to move forward is to go to the elective conference. So all those people who are coming to say we are not, uh, we are not um, uh, supposed to be uh, planning for or preparing for the elections, I don't know if they don't want the all party right. to move forward or to have the conference. But according to the Constitution, it is the NEC that has got the authority to prepare for the next election. All right, uh, let's leave it there. Uh, we will wait and see uh, whether this conference goes uh, ahead. So uh, a conference has been called uh, for December by the chairperson, uh, the national chair. Uh, you heard there, Ciselo Mabika. Uh, but this is playing out in court, opposed by another faction. And there you heard the national executive committee member, Ahmed Sheikh Imam. We'll follow that.